a Halloween tutorial for you guys. No, this is not how I go out all of the time. Although it would be fun and exciting to pe see people's expressions. Um, but this is my fairy Halloween look that I thought that I would do for you guys. I was really inspired because I promised you guys some Halloween looks and I got one up. One. That's it. Just one. It was a vampire look and I will link it down below. Um, and then I was just, I just couldn't think of anything else to do and I really wanted to do something else for you guys. And I was so inspired because I got my BoxyCharm and I opened my BoxyCharm and I got this really pretty blue eyeliner and this really great light blue shadow from Be A Bombshell. Um, and I was just thinking like I would never wear this color for fall. It's so light. Like what do I do with it? And I really had no idea what to do. Um, and then I just got to thinking, wouldn't it be fun to do a look with these? And I've seen a lot of people who do um, Halloween tutorials. I've seen a lot of, like, fairy tutorials, but everyone always does a purple. Or everyone always does a pink. And you can certainly do those colors if that's what you want to do. But I thought it would be really fun to do a really, like, vibrant blue fairy look for you guys. So this is what I came up with. I think it's, it's just, oh, my God, it was so fun. It was so fun. I loved it. It was so great and it was so awesome. And, yeah, I have falsies on. Mm -hmm. That's what those are. Um, and I just, oh my gosh, I just had so much fun doing it for you guys. Um, and I really wanted to get another Halloween video up for you. And it was great to be able to use these products. They were absolutely amazing. And I think they just made the whole look. And I just, I just had to use them. I was so excited to get them in my BoxyCharm. I had to use them. I had to give them a whirl. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting this beautiful Halloween fairy look, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are at the beginning. Um, I've already put on my base makeup. I figured there was no point in wasting time. The show was on camera, so I didn't. Um, but I put on my um, primer, my pore primer. Um, I put on foundation, concealer, and powder. If you guys know, usually... Every day, um, I do my eyes first in case there's any fallout, and I do my face makeup last. But for this look, I did it first because we're going to be doing kind of like a dramatic fairy-like thing on the side there. And you just, you, I mean, why would you do that and then put foundation over it? <laughs> so I did all that first. I did not do blush or anything. I'm going to show you guys what blush I'm going to be using. But I have done all that. And then I've also gone in and I've primed my eyes with my um, Too Faced um, eyeshadow insurance. And I did the lids, and then I did all the way up here as well just to give us a nice base. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scotch tape, place it on the back of my hand, take some of the stickiness off because I don't want it to pull any of my makeup off. Um, I just want to get a really nice line for this um, because sometimes when you just kind of go in there and do things all crazy like, you don't get as nice of a line as you may want to get. Um, so I just want to make sure that I have a nice line um, exactly where I want it. Um, and I'm putting it on the back of my hand to place... Um, take some of the stickiness off because I don't want it to like pull anything crazy off and just make sure that you're pretty much at the same angle and you just pat it on lightly. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a white base. This is by LA Colors. Um, this is just a jumbo, jumbo eyeshadow pencil and this is in the color white and I'm going to place this on the lid and up into the crease and I'm doing this so that my colors really pop and my colors really stick. It's just going to give us a nice base. Oh, look, and we're done. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to kind of blend that in everywhere, smudge it all around, and pat it in. Um, and I'm patting it up because we are going to go up, up with our eyeshadows because this is a Halloween look. It's a very dramatic look. We want to be a very pretty fairy. Um, so we're going to go a little bit higher than we usually would um, if we were just doing like an everyday makeup look. So I am patting it up there. I'm not putting a lot of the product up there, but what's on my finger as I'm um, blending it on the rest of my eyelid and everything. I'm just bringing it up a little bit. So we just have some extra base and some extra insurance up there for our eyeshadows. All right, our next step is going to be to go in um, with an eyeliner. I'm using the eyeliner I just got in my BoxyCharm. Um, you, I don't know if you guys are going to see the BoxyCharm first or this first, but I got this in my BoxyCharm for October. Surprise if you haven't seen it. Um, and this is by Starlux, and it's just like a glittery blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, um, and I'm just going to place that on the um, outer part of my eyelid up into the middle and just kind of really messy kind of put that on there. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with my fingertips. Um, I just really wanted to use this. And since it's not a super like long lasting staying pencil, I thought it would be great for this look because I can smudge it out.
The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of go over that and I'm just going to kind of smooth everything out so everything's not too harsh and we don't have any harsh lines. We just want that color to nicely be placed all over the lid. And I'm going up into the crease because this is a very dramatic um, fairy look. So I'm going up way above the crease, almost to the brow bone, a lot higher than I would go for any kind of normal look. And since this is not a super, super long lasting eyeliner, I'm just going to take a little bit of Wet n Wild. Um, this is just a blue shade. Um, it doesn't have the color on there because they always put it right here and like everyone always rips that part off. But what I'm going to do is I'm really going to set that because I don't want this to really move and like smudge um, throughout the evening. So I'm going to take the big fluffy brush that we have and I'm going to lightly dab it in and then I'm going to dab off a lot of the excess. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in first and pat that on so I don't get too much concentrated in one spot. I really want to set this, bring some more color to it, but I don't want it to be like crazy intense dark. I really just want to set it and bring just a little bit more color to the look. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with um, an eyeshadow that I also got in my BoxyCharm, um, which like I said in the intro was the inspiration for this kind of fairy look. Um, this is by Be A Bombshell and this is in the color Divine and it's just a really, really pretty like light blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm just going to pack that right on the inside corners. This is just going to lighten it up a little bit and give us an extra dimension of blue and I'm going up in this area here because I want to bring it up a little bit and I'm just going to place that all over this section and this is really really shimmery um, it's like a frost so it looks really great with this because you're not going to have to add a crazy ton of like glitter or anything to really get that really pretty glittery fairy look And then I'm just going to go in with a clean blendy brush and just kind of blend everything out and make sure everything is nice and cohesive. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of that blue, get it on my brush, and I'm just going to kind of darken up the outside just a little bit with that color because I do want there to be some dimension there. I want it to be a little bit darker on the outside like we would with a regular kind of smoky eye-like look. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting a little bit on my brush, tapping off the excess, and I'm just going in in circular motions just on that like outer wing part um, and then on my lid. I just want a little bit of dimension um, in that outer area. And then again, take a clean blending brush or wipe off the one that you were using and just kind of smooth everything out so there's no harsh lines. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull off the tape. And you just want to pull off very carefully. And I always pull from the hairline down, not that it really makes a difference, that's just how I do it. And you'll see you have like a nice edge there. And this is going to help when you draw your little designs on because you're not going to have like a big smudgy edge. You're going to have a nice line to really go with where you can draw the swirls on that we're going to do. So my next step is I'm just going to darken up my brows just a little bit. Um, I just wanted to fill them in for the sake of, you know, having them done so I didn't look crazy with all this blue all over. But I'm just going to define them just a little bit more because I don't want them to get lost. This is a very kind of dramatic look. We have a lot of color going on here. Um, there's a lot going on in this look, but it's supposed to be. Um, but I just want to darken them up just a little more so my brows are not really getting lost. Um, that they're going to stand out as well. Alright, darken them up just a tad, just a tad. 
The next thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm going to go into my Comfort Zone palette, and I'm just going to take this brow bone shade here at the top. It's just this nice cream color, and I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone just to bring a little bit of color and light underneath there. And then I'm going to take a blendy brush and I'm just going to kind of blend just the edge of that brow bone highlight just to make sure everything's nice and smooth there. Very, very lightly. I'm also going to take a little bit of that shade and then place it just on the inner corner of my eye. Blending it up into the blue that we have there. So it's just going to help brighten this area just a little. Beautiful. The next thing that I'm going to do is itch my nose. <laughs> um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do my bottom lash line. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this same shimmer pencil that we used in blue, and I'm just going to line my bottom lash line. And then to set this, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the Be a Bombshell color that we used in Divine, the light color. And I'm going to place that, I'm going to smudge that on the inner tear duct area. And then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild shade that we used, the um, Dark Shimmery Blue, and I'm going to smudge that just on the rest of the lash line. And this is just going to help me make it a little bit more dramatic, smudge it out a little bit, but it's also going to help set that eyeliner because that eyeliner is not super long lasting. It smudges very easily. It's gorgeous, but we want to make sure that we set it and we're not going to have any smudges or any movement while we're wearing this look. The next thing that we're going to do is going to be a very important step. This is when we are going to do our eyeliner. I'm going to be using LA Colors. It's just a liquid eyeliner. Um, you can use a waterproof. You can use regular liquid eyeliner, whatever you really want to use. You can use a gel if you like. If you use a gel, just make sure you have um, a, a brush that is small enough where you can do detailed work because we're going to be using this to make some of our swirls as well as the shimmery eye pencil. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're just going to make a very thin eyeliner eye um, line on this eye. I'm going to be doing dramatic on one side. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because um, I always do a side pony or even when my hair is down, I have this like side swept bang here. So I don't want to put too much on this side because it's just going to get covered. But this is the side that's really, really going to show. Um, but I don't want to do a whole bunch here and no eyeliner here. So we're just going to do a thin line here and we're going to wing it out just a little bit and maybe make one or two little small swirls, but we're not going to do anything crazy on this side because my bang is going to cover it anyway. You can do it on both if you want to. Um, I'm just doing it on one side, the dramatic. You'll see I'm just following the line up and I'm just going into a swirl. I'm really just kind of drawing it out first. Um, very, very lightly, not applying any pressure because I don't want to smudge or anything. So once I kind of have my line, I can go back in and make it thicker so you can notice it. Um, and I would say be very careful with this step. Um, really concentrate. Don't, don't rush it. Don't, um, you know, kind of like try to like rush through it. You really want to make sure that your swirls are going to be really, really pretty and gorgeous. Um, so just take your time and really, you know, do thin lines and then thicken them as you go. So that's basically going to be that side. 
We are going to let that dry and then we're going to add a little bit of glitter on top of it. Um, the other side we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a thin line um, on our eyelid. And we're also going to do swirls on this side, but we're going to do a little bit more dramatic of a swirl pattern, and we're also going to add in that blue liner um, just to give it something a little extra. Again, just take your time with it and don't rush through. Okay, so here we have that, if you can see that there. Next, we're gonna take our blue liner, and you wanna make sure it's nice and sharp, so I'm just gonna sharpen mine. Um, since we use it, it's not as sharp as it could be. We're gonna make it nice and sharp, and we're just gonna go in, and we're just gonna do like small little swirls off of the big one. We're just adding a couple there. It just gives it like a dramatic look. And then I think I'm going to add a swirl coming in here as well. Better. <laughs> I was feeling like I was missing something. I was like, let me do a little something else there. Okay, so there's that. While we kind of let this side dry, we don't want to mess with it, we don't want to touch it, we're going to go back over to this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit um, of black eyeliner and I'm just going to run that um, in my waterline here. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. Next, what I was going to do, I'm going to take an angled brush, just like this, um, and I'm going to dip it into that blue powder that we were using, the blue eyeshadow, and I'm just going to dip it in, and what I'm going to do on this side is I'm just going to very lightly go over the blue swirl so we're setting everything. I'm not going to rub, though. I'm literally just patting the eyeshadow on the blue swirls because I don't want to move any of the eyeliner and mess up the beautiful swirls that we did. Um, but I do want to make sure that they stay. So that's that. The next thing that I'm going to do, and we're, we're wrapping it up, I promise, <laughs> is I'm going to go in with a little glitter. This is also by Wet n Wild. Um, it's just like some silver, it's like a silver glittery eyeshadow. I'm going to take a pencil brush, and I'm just going to swirl that pencil brush around in the glitter. It's like um, kind of like a jelly. It's like thick and sticky. And I'm swirling it around in there, and I'm getting a lot on, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to dab little bits of glitter on the end of my swirls just to give it a little bit of something extra because I just want a little pop of sparkle in those areas and it's not going to be like completely round when you dab it on but it's just going to give a little bit of extra sparkle in those areas I hope I'm not like out of focus or anything and the sparkles aren't going to like translate too well on camera, um, but in real life it looks nice. So it's another little like added touch that just makes everything look really like pulled together. So I don't know if you can even see the sparkles that are going on there. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, the next thing that we are going to do is pop on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. 
I'm just going to pop on a light coat of that. And then I'm also going to apply a pair of falsies just because we have so much going on. We don't want our eyelashes to not stand out. So I'm going to do that off camera because I do have a video um, that's coming up or is already up. I'm like my first time ever doing it this way. Oh my gosh, it's brilliant. Um, so I'm going to make you go check that video out. But I'm going to pop off camera, do my falsies real quick, and then we're going to come back, talk about blush, and talk about lipstick. Okay, so I went ahead and I just popped on my false lashes. The ones that I used are by Ardell, and these are their Glamour Wispies. Um, and they're not in, like, the best condition because these are the ones I've been practicing with for, like, ever before I finally figured out how to put them on. But they do just really help the look, and they help bring some drama to the look. You don't have all of this going on and new lashes. Um, so I did that. What we're going to use for blushes, I have a blush by e.l.f. This is in the color Tickled Pink. Um, it's just a really, like, pretty kind of, like, toned down, like, color. I don't want to do anything too crazy on the cheeks. I don't want to take away from the look that we're doing. Um, and what I'm going to do, if I can find my blush brush, wipe it off because there's probably stuff all over it. Um, and this is just an angled blush brush. This is also by e.l.f. I'm just going to tap in there and dab off the excess. And I'm just going to lightly kind of pop this color right here. And when you're doing this side, and you can put your blush on first if you're worried about messing this up. When you're doing this side, I'm just popping it on just right on my cheekbone just to give it some color there. Um, and I'm taking this one all the way up into the hairline. Um, and then for lipstick, I'm just going to use a really pretty pink. I don't want anything too harsh that's going to compete with my beautiful fairy eye. So I'm just going to be using um, a NYX lipstick. It's a really pretty pink color, and this is in the color Narcissist. And I'm just going to place that all over my lips. Um, at the beginning, I did put some um, EOS lip balm. This is like a coconut something, white coconut maybe. I don't remember. Um, I did just put that on my lips so it would sink in, so my lips would be nice and moisturized. So I'm just going to place this all over my lips. And I love this color because it's a really pretty, like, frosty color. And although I usually hate frosty colors because um, they don't like my dry lip, um, it's really pretty and shimmery for, um, it's a really pretty shimmery color for this look and I think just goes really well together. And then I'm going to top it with a NYX Butter Gloss. This is in Strawberry Parfait. Just for a little bit of extra oomph and shine. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and I hope maybe somebody will wear this fun look for Halloween. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are already subbed, thank you so, so much. I promised you great videos, and I think I delivered. It's fancy, right? Um, and I want to thank you guys just so much for watching. Again, you guys are all so amazing, and I had so much fun doing this look for you guys. It was really fun to be creative and just put stuff all over my face. Um, it was really awesome and really great. Happy Halloween, and I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye!